but police initially said they were not looking for a suspect, leading to speculation they thought it was a murder-suicide and really upsetting the victim's relatives. But now, after six weeks of investigation, authorities are calling the billionaire's deaths murder. It was a horrific scene last month when the bodies of Barry Sherman, 75, and wife Honey, 70, were discovered in their Toronto mansion by their indoor pool. Honey and Barry Sherman were found deceased in the lower level pool area, hanging by belts from a poolside railing in a semi-seated position on the pool deck. Police say they had been strangled. No signs of forced entry into the mansion, leading to suspicion one of them had killed the other, then committed suicide. But now, according to authorities, the Shermans were murdered. We have sufficient evidence to describe this as a double homicide investigation, and that both Honey and Barry Sherman were in fact targeted. The Sherman family in a statement said they anticipated that conclusion, saying it was expressed by the family from the outset and is consistent with the findings of the independent autopsy and investigation they launched, angered by any suggestion the Sermons killed themselves. They're the pride of the neighborhood. Barry Sherman built a pharmaceutical giant, among the world's biggest generic drug makers. The Shermans estimated worth over four and a half billion dollars. The couple also famously philanthropic, giving away millions and very political. Thousands of mourners attended their funeral, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But who killed them and why? Police have very little to say about that. Barry Sherman was known as a very competitive businessman who had open, openly spoken about the fact that he made enemies over the years. A report from the CBC, a major media outlet, says there were multiple killers, and the Toronto Star newspaper has said it had the appearance of a contract killing. Police say they have no suspects, just a long list of people they want to talk to.